Scientists in Canada discovered 4.16 billion year old rocks, offering unprecedented insight into Earth's earliest history and challenging existing geological timelines. Canada, stretching from the icy edge of the Arctic to the temperate rainforests along its Pacific coast, from sprawling prairies to cities perched atop ancient bedrock, is a country defined by breathtaking landscapes, dramatic history, and profound mysteries still waiting to be unraveled. Beneath vast forests, countless lakes, and rugged mountains lies a theater of geological marvels shaped by tumultuous forces over billions of years. At nearly 10 million square kilometers, Canada's landscape forms a living tapestry woven from the elements fire, ice, and water, a reminder of planetary events that far predate the dawn of life itself. But what happens when scientists reveal fragments of Earth's earliest history embedded in the very rocks under our feet? What secrets slumber beneath the boreal forests, within hidden rock formations, or under silent ancient lakes? Recent discoveries in Canada, emerging from remote outcrops and under the cover of wild landscapes, have sent ripples of astonishment through the global scientific community. Each finding does not simply expand our knowledge, it challenges our understanding of Earth's origins and the fragile links connecting its past, present, and future. What lies within the oldest rocks yet identified on Earth, found in Quebec? How do ancient volcanic relics, mysterious cave systems, and rare plants connect us to a time before continents took familiar shape. As we explore some of Canada's most remarkable discoveries in geology, volcanology, speleology, limnology, hydrology, and plant science, we must ask, what other wonders might still be hidden waiting in this land at the edge of the unknowable? The oldest rocks on Earth, Earth's ancient archives revealed. Beneath the forests and rivers of northern Quebec, scientists have revealed a discovery that fundamentally shifts our understanding of Earth's history. In a remote and weathered rock formation, they found intrusive rocks cutting through ancient volcanic layers, rocks that date back an astonishing 4.16 billion years. Current evidence suggests these formations may be the oldest rocks yet identified on our planet, relics from the earliest chapter of Earth's tumultuous evolution. These rocks rocks, older than any fossil and older than any mountain chain currently on Earth, existed before oxygen filled our atmosphere or life arose. Imagine a planet over four billion years ago, a world of molten crust, frequent asteroid impacts, and atmospheric conditions unlike anything seen today. It was in this hostile crucible that the volcanic formations of Quebec began, spewing out minerals that would, against the odds, survive eons of planetary change. The significance of this discovery goes beyond just verifying the antiquity of Canada's bedrock. It opens a tangible window onto the Hadean Eon, an epic whose rocks are seldom preserved and whose character scientists can usually only surmise. Through precise analyses, measuring chemical compositions, isotopic ratios, and using advanced radiometric dating, researchers now glimpse the very conditions that prevailed when land masses were just beginning to coalesce and the first oceans may have formed. Why do these ancient stones matter? Locked within their crystalline lattices is a record of Earth's earliest chemical exchanges, clues to the origins of vital planetary elements and the dynamics that shaped our surface world. Each new sample yielded from the Quebec rocks reveals tiny mineral inclusions, barely visible but loaded with information about primordial magma, early atmospheric ingredients, and the waters that would one day sculpt continents. What other relics of the Hadean Earth might still exist beneath Canada's bedrock, undisturbed through the unceasing march of geologic time. Every close study of these ancient rocks generates more tantalizing questions, reminding us how much remains to be learned, not only about Canada, but about the deepest roots of our planet itself. Adding to their intrigue is the location of these rocks, embedded in the Nuvuagituk greenstone belt along the eastern coast of Hudson Bay. This region has long been known to geologists as a rich repository of Archean and Pre-Archean formations, but never before 
before had it yielded evidence so ancient. The rock structure, a mixture of iron-rich banded formations and ultramafic intrusions, hints at early earth processes, including seafloor volcanism, crustal recycling, and even the beginnings of proto-tectonic activity. Some researchers believe these rocks could also offer indirect evidence of the planet's first interactions with water. Geochemical signatures, particularly in the ratios of certain oxygen and hydrogen isotopes, suggest these rocks were once in contact with liquid water, possibly from early oceans or hydrothermal systems. If confirmed, this would extend the timeline for surface water on Earth by hundreds of millions of years and support the theory that our planet cooled more quickly than previously thought, potentially allowing for the emergence of life far earlier than current fossil records indicate. Furthermore, these ancient stones may help answer one of geology's deepest questions. When did plate tectonics begin? Clues buried within the orientation and composition of these Quebec formations could hint at whether they were part of a dynamic, moving crust or simply the result of stagnant lid tectonics, a more primitive planetary process that predates modern plate movements. If signs of early tectonic behavior are found, it would dramatically reshape theories of how Earth evolved from a molten sphere into a planet with continents, oceans, and the potential for life. Ultimately, the rocks of northern Quebec are more than ancient relics. They are messengers from a forgotten era, preserved with improbable clarity across deep time. They tell a story that has no human witness, only scientific curiosity to bring it to light. As research continues, the world watches with fascination, knowing that beneath Canada's remote tundras, the keys to Earth's origin may finally be coming into focus. Born of fire, dormant volcanoes, and Canada's explosive past, what remains from a time when Earth's fires were unbridled, shaping the very face of what would become Canada. Across Western Canada, from the peaks of British Columbia to the highlands of Yukon, remnants of long extinct volcanoes dot the landscape. While some are identified, others remain draped in forest and concealed beneath glacier-crafted terrain, their stories muted but not erased. The oldest volcanic rocks in Canada, entwined with the ancient formations of Quebec, speak of an era when the surface of our world was shaped by eruptions and shifting tectonic plates. Today, ancient volcanic rocks, including layers of basalt, rhyolite, and andesite, can be unearthed across the Canadian shield. Rich in rare earth elements, these rocks are vital in reconstructing a time when Earth's mantle burst forth, rewriting landscapes in an instant and introducing minerals that may have underpinned the origins of life. Among the remnants of Canada's fiery past, we find features like the Anaheim Volcanic Belt in British Columbia and the quietly dramatic New Quebec crater, now called Pingualuit in Nunavik. While Pingualuit was formed by a meteorite, not a volcano, its presence is a testament to Canada's dynamic geological story. Volcanic fields, such as the Wells Gray Clearwater region in British Columbia, display domes and flows, silent but persistent reminders of eruptions that once shook the land. Geologists unravel the long story of Canada's volcanic history by studying lava flows, vents, and the ash layers in interbedded with the oldest rocks. Using techniques such as argon isotope dating, they reconstruct sequences of eruptions and learn how ancient volcanic activity interwove with the formation of Earth's crust. Could any of Canada's dormant volcanic zones reactivate in the distant future? The land's deep past reminds us that even stable regions today may once have been volcanic frontiers, their transformations crucial to Canada's geological development the subterranean labyrinth, Canada's hidden cave systems. What mysteries reside beneath Canada's surface, beyond the reach of sunlight and ordinary explorers? The country's vast wilderness shelters some of the largest and least explored cave networks on the planet. These subterranean passages reveal stories of geological evolution, hidden mineral resources, and even ancient climate. From the limestone plains of Newfoundland to the Nahani area in the Northwest Territories and deep within the Rockies of Alberta and British Columbia, extensive cave systems systems trace their origins back millions of years. Some passages formed around the same time as the most ancient rocks in Quebec as persistent waters eroded and carved the land from below. Caves sculpted by groundwater, dissolving limestone, and other soluble rocks serve as time capsules. They preserve crystals, ancient animal bones, and mineral deposits that chronicle climate and environmental changes over millennia. Some cave chambers, still submerged or largely inaccessible, offer a world where 
time appears almost frozen. What do these caves hold? stalactites, stalagmites, and undisturbed mineral veins, as well as rare microorganisms thriving in utter darkness, some of which may have ancient or even unique genetic lineages. In some cave systems, researchers have uncovered fossilized remains of Ice Age mammals, safeguarded for thousands of years by stable underground environments. Could there be undiscovered species in these deep caves, or evidence of ancient animals, and perhaps even early humans that traversed Canada's wild lands, with each each new passage mapped and each mineral deposit examined, the underground world only grows in scientific significance. Rivers through time, Canada's lifeblood and ancient waters. No less influential than its rocks, Canada's rivers are both lifelines and living geological archives. They have cut canyons, shaped boundaries, and nurtured ecosystems, both ancient and new. But these rivers are also guardians of deep geological secrets, sometimes tracing their paths through terrain shaped before life began. The ancient rocks of Quebec once lay beneath expansive bodies of water, their edges shaped by rivers flowing between high volcanic ridges. Today, great rivers like the St. Lawrence, Mackenzie, and Yukon trace courses that in some areas may overlap ancient drainage systems, routes altered and shaped by the pressures of glaciation and shifting continents. Examination of riverbeds and floodplains yields more than just economic minerals. Deep sediment cores retrieved from rivers reveal pollen, silt, and organic matter, traces of past climates, ancient vegetation, and the lingering effects of repeated cycles of freezing and thawing. In the Canadian Shield's oldest terrain, groundwater follows ancient fractures and veins carved by geological events similar to those that created Quebec's earliest rocks. How have these ancient and modern rivers influenced the evolution of Canada's landscapes? Their relentless action continues to expose and redeposit sediments, sculpting the land and acting as agents in our planet's continuous transformation. In some regions, subsurface rivers and aquifers may still echo the shapes and flows of continental scale features lost to time. Lakes frozen in time, reservoirs of the distant past. If rivers are Canada's lifeblood, its lakes are the memory, vast basins forged by glaciers, impacts, and the slow passage of geological ages. These lakes are not simply scenic. They are storehouses of knowledge about past environments, climate, and even the earliest life. Pingualuit Crater Lake in Nunavik, nearly unaltered by inflows, is famed for extraordinary clarity. Its isolated waters let scientists extract sedimentary records that are virtually undisturbed, layer upon layer, recording millennia of environmental change. Like other impact or glacial lakes across Canada, these unique basins allow the study of microfossils, ancient spores, and minerals from past eruptions or meteor strikes. In central Canada, lakes are the vestiges of much vaster inland seas that existed when glaciers melted. At the close of the last ice age, meltwater lakes formed and sometimes drained cataclysmically, carving present river valleys and leaving behind rich sediments. Cores drilled from lake beds still contain material from past epochs, pollen from vanished forests, ancient plankton, and DNA from extinct species, all vital clues to Canada's post-glacial transformation. Canada's lakes, beyond their natural beauty, are crucial research sites. Their sediments trap chemical traces from volcanic eruptions, meteor impacts, and shifts in planetary climate, acting as silent witnesses to many of Earth's great changes. Ice, stone, and the shape of the land, Canada's glacial imprint. Canada's landscapes are deeply marked by the legacy of glaciers. The Laurentide and Cordilleran ice sheets, once covering most of the country, ground mountains to hills, carved deep valleys, and left signatures, moraines, eskers, kettle lakes, and drumlins that still rule the terrain. As glaciers retreated, they revealed Canada's ancient bedrock, sometimes exposing surfaces not touched for billions of years. This process helped lead to the discovery of the world's oldest rocks in Quebec, making the country a treasure trove for geologists charting the planet's earliest epochs. Even today, post-glacial rebound, the slow uplift of land once weighted by ice alters the fabric of the land. This ongoing change creates fractures, influences groundwater movement, and modifies ecosystems far beyond what can be seen on the surface. In the north, active glaciers continue to sculpt the landscape, their meltwaters feeding rivers that in turn shape the land anew. Canada's glacial features are more than physical scars. 
They preserve clues to past climate cycles, ancient animal migrations, and the processes that continue to influence Earth's surface. Rocks and Minerals, Canada's Geological Wealth Canada's rocks aren't merely ancient. They are among the most varied and mineral rich found anywhere. The Canadian Shield, composed mostly of Precambrian rock, is a vast plain etched with veins of gold, nickel, uranium, and other minerals. Diamonds in the Northwest Territories, for example, originate in pipes formed deep within ancient crust, a product of Earth's earliest tectonic and volcanic activities. Within these rocks, geologists locate minerals with unique isotopic signatures, which reveal periods of intense volcanic activity, meteor bombardments, and the recycling of crustal material into the mantle. In some places, zircons, tiny, durable minerals, provide time-stamped records of processes going back over 4 billion years, aligning closely with Quebec's 4.16 billion-year-old rocks. With each mineral and crystal studied, scientists piece together the chemistry of early oceans, the emergence of Earth's atmosphere, and the conditions that gave rise to life. These ancient minerals act as time caps offering a microscopic record of events otherwise lost to time. Caves of cold and light unique micro-ecosystems below ground Beneath the surface, caves are not lifeless voids, but vibrant ecosystems. Canadian caves harbor colonies of bacteria and fungi uniquely equipped to survive without light, feeding on minerals in the rock. Some metabolize sulfur or iron, creating tiny, isolated biospheres independent of the sun. In the oldest and deepest caves, certain extremophile organisms may have evolved in isolation for millennia, reflecting ancient survival strategies. Although these environments have not yet yielded direct evidence of life from the Hadean eon, present-day microbes can offer insights into how primitive life might have endured and adapted under early Earth conditions. How do studies of these subterranean life forms help scientists understand life's potential prevalence and resilience, even in environments as distant as Mars or the icy moons of our solar system? Each discovery of hardy microbes or novel biochemistry expands our understanding of how life can exist in extreme settings, both on Earth Earth and potentially elsewhere. Plants from the edge of time, botanical discoveries in ancient soils, Canada's oldest rocks influence more than geology. They shape ecosystems. Ancient soils, especially those near outcrops of the Canadian Shield, host plants that have adapted to challenging conditions. Hardy mosses, lichens, and other vascular plants thrive on minimal nutrients, sometimes colonizing freshly exposed rock left bare by retreating glaciers. Botanical studies in these ancient landscapes have revealed unusual species and genetic lineages, some of which may have survived dramatic climate swings and soil transformations over millennia. Fossilized spores and plant microfossils trapped between layers of rock give researchers a window onto earlier periods of Earth's surface transformation. Contemporary plant discoveries, odd ferns, or resilient lichens thriving in acidic shield soils may not themselves be directly ancient, but many show adaptations reminiscent of survival in harsh, unstable environments. They are living links to ecological processes shaped by volcanic fires glacial ice, and the ongoing slow changes that have defined Canada for billions of years. Unanswered questions and endless possibility. Whether in the world's oldest rocks of Quebec, extinct volcanoes beneath the forests, fossil bones in shadowed caves, or sediments at the bottom of tranquil lakes, Canada's scientists are constantly unveiling new layers of country's extraordinary story. Each discovery provokes more questions, adding new dimensions to the evolving history of our planet. What truly lies beneath the overlooked corners of Canada's well-traveled landscapes? How many more astonishing revelations await in stones untouched by sun for more than four billion years? or in water-tracing secret paths carved during Earth's distant youth. Has every cave been explored, every mineral vein studied, every dormant volcanic field map, or are we, perhaps, only beginning to glimpse the deep history written across Canada's land? Canada endures as both a record and an invitation. Its terrains are shaped by elemental forces older than memory, fire, ice, water, wind, all working together over eons. Its caves, rivers, lakes, ancient crust stand as evidence of a world always in motion, always being remade. The discoveries of recent decades, confirmation of Earth's unimaginable age, the ceaseless transformation still underfoot, remind us that the most profound shock often comes not from the answers we find, but from the magnitude of the questions they raise. 
So, what captivates you most about Canada's hidden wonders? Is it the immense age of its rocks, the silent testimony of its volcanic past, or the resilience of life in unexpected places? Which secret would you most hope scientists will uncover in chapters yet to be written? Subscribe and join us as we push deeper into this unique frontier, continuing to reveal the astonishing secrets of our world. The next great discovery may already be waiting, buried under stone, at the bottom of an ancient lake, or in the questions we have not yet thought to ask.